It is new frame day today. I just swapped parts over from this Corvus Rhino FLT to the new Skookum AF. They are both aluminum frames, but the Skookum has a more slack head angle, a steeper seat tube, and shorter chain stays, so I think it will be a more fun ride for me. I am running all of the same components that I had on the Rhino, including the 27.5 by 4.3 inch tires. In this video, I'm going to go out to some local trails and see how it does. We are out at Silver Lake today, and there's not much snow, but it's nice and frozen, so it should still be a good ride. One side hit there. Not so smooth right now, though. Wicked rock section there. More rocks here. Big tires just eat them right up, though. Can't miss the skinny here. Hannah's here too, riding the original carbon skookum. Oh, she's taking the easy route. They're both easy, but you get a little extra fun by going up high on the berm. You can do it easy. I noticed this broken off tree the last few times I was here. So I think it's time to try it. Oh, slid off the end there. That's where studs would be really nice so they could dig into that wood. This used to be a nice smooth tree V. Now, it's a little weird, but it still works. Oh, that's a nice big berm now. This is one of the more difficult climbs here. A lot of people actually go around it. There are some exposed roots, but these fat tires probably eat them right up, even on the old line. Oh yeah. And Hannah makes it too, no problem. Pretty crunchy today. Oh yeah, that's fun. A little hard to trust the traction in the corners, but it's been working out so far. I love it when they leave skinnies alongside the trail as an option. Nice addition. Let's see if Hannah can get it done. Oh, not that time. Might help to be in a lower gear. Almost. Yeah. Thought you had it. There's that one little bump that throws you left or right. And then there's another one. Just really gotta look ahead and forget about it. Just hit them in the center. Keep pedaling. Pedal all the way to the end. Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh! What did I hit? You smashed something right about there. Well, it's about as close as you can get. Yeah, I'm all good. I'm going to take that. Turns out the shifter cable broke, so she's in the highest gear the rest of the time. Well, couldn't quite get Hannah's bike fixed. So, she'll just come back another time, but. I'm just gonna finish out the ride. This part's pretty cool. Rock double, manual into that weird berm. That flat corner can use a berm. Oh yeah. I'm definitely hooking up better than I expect. I'm a little timid in every corner, but haven't been sliding yet. tree just always asked me to ride it. Nice new berm here into some rollers. Oh, manuals better than the Rhino, I would say. Well, I was trying to save the best for last, 
but my front tire is leaking. It's getting pretty low now. I think it's just a pressing problem. This is KV line. It's a pretty fun one. Go around here. Got a couple of rocks to jump off of. Some berms. New little table here. But mainly the berms. Oh, it makes it sweet. Especially right here. A lot of fun. Harvest through this. That's pretty much it. I think this bike would be a ton of fun somewhere like Marquette. Play some steeper sections, jumps, stuff like that. Hopefully I'll get up there sometime this winter. Well, I definitely like this bike more than the Rhino, but it's hard to beat the original Carbon Skookum. I love that thing. Put a lot of time on it. Really comfortable with it. But maybe I just need a bit more time on a variety of conditions on this bike. Hopefully some real snow. We'll see if we get any around here sometime soon. But still good ride. Still had some fun despite some issues. It happens. At least I was able to finish out my ride and enjoy a nice crisp winter day.